Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this origami. Origami metallic insect. Uh, this one is very bad, but that's why I'm making a new one. And I'm going to show you how to make how I made it. Um, I made this origami by the CP, so I don't really have a way to show it. But I'm going to show you how, how I did it. And to start, we need the 44 by 44 grid, and I already did it. Uh, to divide in 44, you can divide into 12, into 11 parts first, and then into four parts. Uh, if you don't know how to divide in 11 parts, just check the video in the description. Okay, so. Uh, start I think it's easier to explain you if I make all the lines by the way this is the crease pattern if I make all the lines uh, that are on the crease pattern uh, and then I'm just going to make it um, you can do it if you want but uh, it's going to help you but you don't need to do it okay so and if you're having trouble uh, knowing where the lines are going to be you can uh, can just print the CP and have a better look yeah, like I did okay so now just let's just uh, press the lines <coughs> okay uh, I design all the creases and crease it uh, if you're in trouble uh, knowing what which lines are uh, it shouldn't be difficult and most lines are just diagonals like these lines here these and the others these ones are just bisectors so it shouldn't be so difficult to crease all the lines okay so now is the difficult part uh, due to the fact that I didn't make this origami by uh, by diagrams uh, when I folded it I collapsed all the model in one time and uh, I don't know if you will understand it but I'll do my best okay so we can start here for from the bottom part okay so here um, these lines here this part here you're just going to make something like this a mountain fold here and then just make something like this okay and freeze here okay and do the same here okay. sorry here okay Okay, um, so, okay, this, this square here with the bisectors, like a petal fold, is going to be something like this. You make a mountain fold on the bisectors and on this diagonal, this. Okay, something like this. Okay, and fold, uh, make a valley fold on the the diagonal, the bigger diagonal, and make the same thing with the others. Okay, something like this. Just an okay. Um, something like this. Okay, I 
I just unfold unfold this thing. You this thing here. You'll I'll do it later. Okay. So now this we just folded this part here. Just make something like this. Okay, so these lines here are going to be something like this. You're just going to grab one and the other perpendicular and just make something like this. Something like this. Okay. Okay. Now let's do it here. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Okay, uh, this part here we have these lines here. Just I, I'm going to fold that in the in the end. So just crease along it. Um, and this one as well. Okay. And just make keep keep folding. Okay, so the first one is done like this. And basically, you have to do all the same thing we did here in all of the origami, all of the paper so okay let's do it again again I'll fold this later I'm not sure if if you can see well because my camera sucks, but I'm doing my best to show you. And this paper is all is also good for this kind of origami because it um, it doesn't unfold easily. It's tissue paper. For those who don't know, Okay, so we now have two, two lines, okay, so inside it should look something like this if we open it, okay.
now before continue doing this uh, let's just do the same but uh, on this side here and we have to it's the same the same thing okay so So crease the bisectors and the diagonals, mountain folds, and again. Okay, so we'll now keep doing all that, that's those um, mountain folds and valley folds. Okay, do it again. Okay. Okay. Now 
we have the same thing in both sides like you should have something like sorry, let me okay, you can crease here on these lines here crease them and fold in half just by the middle line Okay, something like like this. Okay. So now before advancing, let's just uh, make the details that I didn't hit. But for example, here, this part here, let's just make a reverse fold here. Like this, here as well. Okay, and doing all the parts that are marked. That's why I marked the 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 lines. Okay. Okay, so okay, we should have something like this. Okay, now let's just um, work on this part here. Okay, this part it's a little more complex, but not too much, but not very complex because it has these folds here which is going to be the head of the origami but uh, it's easy okay so this this parts here I know if you can I don't know if you can see it but there are sink folds uh, and that's very easy to make you just have to keep doing valley folds and mountain folds so let's start with this one the top the bottom sorry okay okay and crease here until here we have a, a diagonal that goes from there that goes here and then just continue the line up and we have another diagonal here and crease long continue okay now we have this layer folded right then just make a valley fold and this line here also so just close it like this the middle the middle line is a mountain fold Okay, so you should have something like this. Very bad. Okay. Just make a valley fold here. Okay. So now on this side, we have this this line here. 
just have to crease along it all the way up and you're going to find a square here but uh, I'll do it later okay just crease something like this okay now keep doing those those valley folds and mountain folds Okay. Again, I'll fold this square later. Now here we have the same thing we had in here, right here. So just close it. Fold on this line. Uh, sorry. This line, yes. Okay, follow on this line here. But this is the a bit different because the middle line now is a valley fold, and before it was a mountain. But not not a problem. Okay, and close it. This part is not going to lie flat, but uh, but don't worry. Okay, now we had, um, we just unfold a bit, we had these two squares right here, J let's just crease them. Okay, so mountain folds on this part and also this one, the other. Okay, now we have these squares here, right? Just going to make a valley fold here, right in the middle. Bring this point to this, like like this. Okay, and the same with the other square. Okay. We have something like this. We should have something like this. Like this. We have the squares right here. Okay. Okay now. Um okay now let's do the same on the other side. Just make the that uh, open sink here. Okay, like 
like this. Okay. Okay, something like this. Okay. Now here, just crease along this line here. Don't fold the squares yet. Or if you want, just you can just already fold them. But I won't. Okay. And make the open sink here. Again, this part is not going to lie flat. Okay. Now just open the paper here and fold those squares. Something like this. Okay, so now what you're going to do is we have that uh, rectangle here and here and it's going to be the same thing we did with this but it's a bit it's well the, the bisectors are different but the shaping is the same thing so just make a just to make a mountain fold on the bisectors this diagonal here this. Right. ok like this like this and make the same thing on the other side
Okay, so now just fold in half. Uh, okay, on this part you can't uh, bring these edges together because they won't line up. This part is a bit different, but just fold along the diagonal. Okay, something like this. Okay, it's a bit me messy, but don't worry. Okay, so now here it should look like this. It's not going to lie flat, but don't worry. Okay, now here, no, uh, let's just do this before. first. Okay, uh, we have these parts here, right? Just crease, crease the lines, continue them. Okay, this one as well. Okay, um, this part it's not going to be like this, but uh, I'll do that in the end because this part here, uh, because it's not because I can't explain right now. Um, Okay, just keep f doing the same thing we did on this side here. Okay, so you reach this point where you have another square right here on the head but don't fold it just put it like this I'll fold it in the end okay this part is going to be under this but uh, we'll do it later okay keep folding going to be something like this not sure if you get it but it's like this okay keep folding all the lines Okay, so now here on this part, you can just make a valley fold on this line, making something like this. Okay. I'm not sure if you understanding what I'm doing but uh, I hope so because if not this would be a waste of time but
Okay, this part here is going to be a bit messy, but don't uh, don't fold it already. should have something like this Should have something. Okay, uh, here. Okay, here on this part, you can just make a, a valley fold, bringing these two parts together. Okay, something like this. Okay, just put this part under this. Okay, so you should have something like this. This side is not done yet, but I'll we'll just do it. Okay, something like this. Right? Okay. I'll just make a stop here because my camera is burning running out of battery but uh, I'll continue doing sorry I mean on this side next okay. okay I'm back uh, we were doing this part here hey, right uh, it should look, look something like this this okay now we have to do the same on this side so fold the bisectors you make a mountain fold here okay Okay, then do um, let's start do that uh, mountain and valley folds split here. Okay, and another one. Again, I'll fold this part later. I'll just fold it like we were, like uh, it was a normal. Like it's normal.
okay again this part of the head just uh, continue the crease and tuck this part inside I'll fold it later it's just easier if you do that right now and then fold it the right way okay this okay so here again make a uh, bring these two points here together like this like we did in the previous previously sorry Okay, and uh, wait. Okay, just keep doing that. Okay, and fold the diagonal. Fold this in half. Okay, here make a valley fold along this line. Okay, so it should be the same as the other side. Now press the whole model. Make a valley fold here. Okay. Now before starting to do the, the head let's go here on this part here let's fold it the right way because it's not yet uh, open it like this and as you can see we have two squares here and they fold like this Okay, so this is going to be like, like this, okay. Just fold this like something like this. Fold it, okay. And do it on the other side as well. This should be easy for you if you did uh, See if you designed all the creases in the in the crease pattern. Okay, so we have something like this here. We have the squares here. Now just collapse them, make a, making a valley fold on this line here. This the middle. Something like this. Okay, and fold it like this. Okay, do the same on the other side here with this square.
okay we should have something like this okay now fold back again make a belly fold on the, this line oh and fold this like this okay. now do the same thing on the other side here okay open it We have the squares here, right? So just continue this line here up until here, this line, and fold it down, okay? Again on the other side. Okay, now let's fold the squares. Okay, fold this to the side. Okay, like this. And fold the other one. Okay. And make a valley fold again on the middle. Okay, so now the only thing that's left is the head, uh, which is pretty simple. Okay, so here we tuck this part in, right? Now we just have to unfold it by bring it up, bring it out. Okay, and we have again these squares we just fold it so it's going to be the same thing okay make a making a a valley fold here Something like this sorry like this and just fold it okay now do the same thing on this side so bring this thing out and fold the square Okay, so now this part, this you, as you can see, we have two squares here yet, and in order to fold them, you'll have to start to start. We'll have to collapse the whole model in one time. Um, so just okay. Start by this side. Uh, by the, the other side okay um, make a mountain fold here here continue it until you reach the top then here you have to open and push this push this down 
making a mountain fold like this. It's just like a an open sink. Okay. Something like this. Uh, it's going to be the same on the other side. Okay, sorry. Um, but let's do this side first. Okay, just make a, another mountain fold here. And bring all the edges together. I know this part is not going to be like this, but uh, we'll do it later. Um, now, before collapsing this, let's make the other squares we have left. So, grab this edge here and this one. This part also is not going to be like this, but don't worry. And just fold this square. Like this, and fold the other one. Okay, like this. Okay, so the head is done. It's not entirely done, but it's almost. Let's do that part first. And we have the here. Let's keep folding these lines all the way up. Okay, the other one. And now, just kind of bring these two points here together. Just try to make something like this. You're going to do this this line here, not it's not going to fold, just going to make a valley fold on this and this and on the other side as well. Okay. And something something like this. Okay, you should have something like this. Now let's fold all the parts we didn't fold. Like for example, the head here. This part here, the bottom, just unfold it. And we have to make a open sink. And it's very easy. Just make a mountain fold on this, and then a valley fold on the next one. Uh, 
Uh, okay, something like this. Okay, so this is the head, right? Okay, let's uh, turn back. And we have here this part also. So it be a open thing. Just put this inside like this. Pretty simple. Okay, so the CP is folded. Now there are only a few things remaining to do. But. Uh, and I, I will explain them, don't worry. Okay. And I'll do this thing later. Okay. Okay, so the model should look like this. The CP is folded. Now, to do the shaping part, we have two things left to do. We have to open sync these eight flaps here. I'm going to show you how to do it and in every corner for example this one and this we have to do an open seam to make it uh, narrow to make it well, it's, it's going to be better and in these parts here we're going to make a spread sink but I'll show you okay first I'm going to show you how to make the the open sink on these parts, it's the same to all of them, so to be. I'm only going to show you what to do one. Okay, so you grab one and you already have a line here. So you fold it on that line. Okay, like this, and then you fold again to the other side on the other line. And then again. Okay, it should do something like this. Now we just have to open it and crease the lines you just made okay And put this as well. Okay, so it should be something like this. Now you have to do the same with all the other flaps. Okay, now I'm going to show you the other thing that you need to do. For example, here we have. No, I'm going to show you, for example, here, okay, these two arms here, for example, you have this, and you're going to fold each 
along this line here. Just make something like this. And the other one as well. Okay. Then unfold. Okay. Now open it. And you're going to crease the marks you just made. Making a, an open sink. Okay, you should get something like this. Now, there are other types of this, other parts where you have to do, but it's different. For example, here, uh, fold three layers to the left, to the right, and we have this thing here, right? And it's just going to squash it something like this and do the same on this one okay so it should be something like this now you have to do all of these things in all of the parts where you need it to make it look better okay I'm going to, I'm just going to skip the part because I will show you once and it's the same thing okay so you should have something like this um, now let's do the shaping okay so we have here the head right and um, okay, this part here, fold it down. And now fold the whole model in half, like this. Just make a, a mountain fold here. Okay. Now we have. This, these two here, which is going to be the back legs, these two, the front, and these are going to be the arm. Okay, so first, just fold this here, and here we're going to bring up this part of the body up, so make just a crimp. just something like this okay now um, I, I'm not going to show you how to make all the legs because it's basically the same thing but uh, I can show you how to do one and then I'll show you how to do uh, the tail and I can show you how to do the, the hair as well let's start with the hair Okay, so we have something like this. Just make another crimp to make the head right. Okay. And we can put it. Okay, so something like this. Now, we have these two horns here. You can just fold it fold them in half, make a, a rabbit here, here, something like this, the other side as well, okay, 
Now here we have um, two points on each side of these two points here, two points here. We're just going to spread them, making some sort of toot. Just make reverse folds like this. Okay, the other one as well. Okay, so it's something like this. You can shape it whatever, you can do the form which you think it's better. I'm just going to make them to the side, okay, something like this. Make it the head more round. Something like this. Okay, now let's do the tail, which is going to be this part. We have here a lot, lot of laps inside. We're just going to pull some of them. For example, it doesn't matter what do you, what do you pull. It's just, for example, I'm going to pull this one here. And um, okay, like this. Pull the other one. If you want to pull this, it's you have to open it. We fold two flaps to the right, and then we pull this two like this. Okay. Okay, just something like this. Now fold it in half again. And you're going to make um, just make it more round to give the three D idea. Oh, before that, sorry. Um, Cream, uh, just going to make some crimps to make it look better. For example, here. Okay, keep doing them till we reach the end. Okay, then fold in half. And now give it a round shape. And spread these two points. You can shape it whatever you like. I'm just doing as I did. Okay, it should be something like this. Okay, now let's do this part here of the body. 
this part you're just going to fold this side to the side something like this and then you're going to make uh, like spikes coming out of his back for example some, uh, something like this Here side as well. Okay, it should be something like this. Okay, now let's do the legs. I'm only going to do one. But uh, you can just see by a picture of it where they are going to be. Okay, so this leg here, which is going to be the back leg we're going to do something like this just fold in half and here make a rabbit here and push this up, making a valley fold on this side something like this Doesn't need to go while why up, but very well. Okay, something like this. Now um, let's just make another crimp. We're going to open it on the middle and make a reverse fold, making the head, the leg go down again. Something like. something like this and then here just uh, spread uh, the toes Okay, something like this. Let me just put this. Okay, something like this. Okay, and uh, that's it. You have to do the same with uh, the other legs and uh, Claws, but that's basically it. Hope you liked, and I'm going to put some photos in the end just to see how it turned out. Okay, bye.